I'm Faith, and I'm a sane human being, so I'm Team Red Licorice. And I'm Jake Roberts, and I'm going to stick up for the little guy. I'm sticking up for Black Licorice. Red Licorice is the best. You got Twizzlers, okay? You got Red Vines. Red Vines. No one eats Black Licorice unless they hate themselves, okay? You're like a math major. Why do you hate yourself? Why do you eat it? It's disgusting. Red Licorice is the, it's the good twin of licorice. You have two options. There's no purple licorice, there's no blue licorice. There's red or there's black. And black is typically in most fantasy genres associated with evil, which black licorice is. You know, I feel like that there are certain toxic cultural ideas that get spread that manifest not for any rational reason, but just because it's been repeated over and over again. And the notion that black licorice is bad is one of those. Black licorice has a very underrated taste. It's an acquired taste, I'll grant you. But when you're able to appreciate the taste, it is scrumptious. And I can just say, good and plenty. If you, if you hate black licorice, have some good and plenty. That will change your mind. Okay, well first off, I would like to rebut that by saying no human being in 2016 uses the word scrumptious. Second of all... <clears throat> well, I just did. Yeah, you're not human. No one who eats black licorice and enjoys it is human. Second of all, your argument is flawed, okay? If I have to keep eating something nasty to grow, to hope to someday grow to like it, in life, you'll be giving red licorice and you'll be giving black licorice. And when you get red licorice, you're going to be happy. If you get black licorice, you're going to be sad. Which is what black licorice brings you. Sadness, depression, and eventually death. Notice how she continually loses her cool. She spouts mainly lies and appeals to emotion. She's like Donald Trump. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, first off, okay, yeah, all right. Second of all, I am not like Donald Trump just because I'm passionate about the good twin, red licorice. Okay, black licorice is a punishment. It is. It does not taste good. No one should have to eat black licorice. I don't even know why they still make it. Because people like me like it. People. Not like these dehumanized creatures that you seem to think of us as. You know, we are a strong people and we will stand together <laughs> against your red tyranny. What, all three of you? Black licorice is disgusting. No man, woman, or child should have to eat black licorice. Red licorice is the Jesus of candies, okay? It came in its time of need. Technically, black licorice was invented first, but they saw the error of their ways. And so, to retaliate and to right their wrong, they gave us red licorice. It's the Hosanna of licorice. Go Twizzlers, thank you audience members. Well, you know what? She said it, you know, black licorice was first. And you know what they say, you never forget your first. Um, Black licorice is, as I said, it's an acquired taste, and it's, in a way, a more sophisticated taste than red licorice. Like, any child can just shovel a bunch of, you know, strawberry Twizzlers into their mouth, you know? But it takes a real adult to get, like, those little black licorice bits, you know, and just, like, really savor the taste of them. Scrumptious. Okay, are. Mr. Scrumptious. Well, if that's the case, then how come Twizzlers don't come in black flavor? I think there are. Like, there I, I've, had, I've, had, like, I've had like I've had like like little bit like That's little not black a thing. Bits. I swear to God, I've seen. Well, Twizzlers suck anyway. <gasps> oh, 